with all your fortune. Yen Su, why do you laugh? Can't you see that I'm depressed? I shall have to part with my kingdom one day. Lan Shu shares my feelings. Why do you laugh instead? If everyone lived forever, then the ancient kings would still be occupying the throne. You, my lord, would be a peasant, plowing the fields and worrying about whether you would have enough to eat. Given that, you would probably want to die and not live forever. Today you are the king of a prosperous country, and yet you cry like one who is afraid of dying. Seeing a fool urged on by another fool, I cannot help but laugh. <laughs> Yen Su, you wound me with your words. In my younger days I would have killed you, yet I know you are right. You have always tried to advise me with your wisdom. What is it, my page? Your majesty, a monk has arrived at the palace. He says he knows a cure for your disease. Send him in. Speak, wise monk. Greetings, King Miao. I have heard of your illness. I have a divine remedy that will heal your majesty. What medicine is it? Do you have it with you? No, but if you take the arm and the eye of one who is without anger and combine them into medicine and apply it, you will be cured. What? <laughs> That's awful. Where could I find a person willing to sacrifice their arms and eyes for someone like me? On the island of Potala, there is such a person. She is an immortal whose devotion to Lord Buddha has brought her to a state of perfection. She has no anger and will respond to your request. Really? Th that's wonderful. Consent. Yes, Your Majesty. Go to the island of Potala. Find the immortal who resides there and beg her for the strange ingredients for this prescription. Leave at once. Yes, sire. This is not the moment for a long face or frown. Throw your fears out of your mind and let the joy in. It's like finding a piece of jade in the middle of a dung heap. The workman stands and wipes it off in one. Heal their wounds, Ma, soothe their sorrows. You, the mother of us all.